Yeah, join me here. That looks good. Okay, what are we doing today? Hey guys, um, I'm just getting caught up on some chores around my busy house because I have a busy life because I'm a YouTube star. Yeah, she's a busy girl. So what are we doing today? We're making for the first time ever. Yeah. Overnight oats. That's true. We are making overnight oats. We've never done it before. We found these cool glass jars. We've got four of them and we're making four different varieties today. We are. So and wait, let me just tell them what's in the base. Cause I put that together already. Right. I'm using my recipe because I don't know. In the base of each jar we have But that sounds really good already without the I know, doesn't it? Toppings, but... And so we're doing four different ones, Natalie. Mm. This first one, I think, would really appeal to you. It's a half a banana. Uh, I love bananas. And it calls for walnuts ground up, but we only have pecans, so we're using pecans. That's okay. I love pecans. And then we're going to add vanilla and cinnamon to this one. So let's do this one. Yum. This one's called banana bread. So I'm putting in the banana and the pecans and then to each of these, to each of to this one we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, the cinnamon smells really good. I know. Okay, so what you're going to do now is stir that all together. Alrighty. Start stirring that if you can. And then those chai seeds and everything in there are going to make this really creamy overnight in the refrigerator. So there's one. That one is ready to go. The next one is, do you remember the names of these? Spiced pear. Mm. Okay, we just happened to have a pear in the house, so that was good. We're going to use a half a pear diced up, some more pecans, and to this one we're going to add nutmeg and cinnamon. You can do that without spilling? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> and then it says a pinch of nutmeg. I don't really know what a pinch is, so I'm just going to do a pinch and a pinch. So I don't do this without spilling, I'll just... Okay. All right, and then in the next one, we're going to add, this one's called, ooh, this one's interesting. This one's called PB&J. So we have raspberry preserves, peanut butter, and chopped pistachios that are going to go in this one. I don't like the J in PB&J, but... You're going to give it a try. I'll give it a try. That's right. Got to get this peanut butter to incorporate a little bit. It's a lot of stirring. Mm -hmm. Here, let me help you with that, and then you can get stirring. Now, this recipe calls for us to mix all of this in ahead of time, and I'm just kind of wondering, like with the nuts, are they going to get all soggy? I it's like those would be better off as a top. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Eh, a pear. There. In the sink. There's a sink over there. <laughs> so mom didn't actually just throw it on the floor. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. All right. The but, spiced pear. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see. Do the nuts, nuts get soggy in there? I don't know. I want to know, though. All right, so here's the PB&J. This looks pretty cool, I gotta say. All right, and then the last one. I'm excited about this one. We're gonna have to fight over who gets to eat this one. Me. This one is called 
Okay, guys, this one's called Carrot Cake. So we've got, what do we got here? We got coconut and some carrots and um, some carrots grated up and raisins. Um, you guys, mom will have to make a separate one for her because this one sounds good to you too. That one is mine. Oh yeah? I think this one would be good for lunch. I, I, I could see this for lunch. I could see the PB&J one for lunch too. Heck, it's just like a peanut butter sandwich. I know. I, I feel like- Without you, the bread. I feel like you could grab one of these to take to St. Anne's. Probably. You know, you're during the day when you go. I think this is great and it's really good nutrition. So, okay, so we've got four. These go in the refrigerator mm. now overnight and you just eat them in the morning and there's plenty of room in these jars to add more toppings later if you want. That's why they're called overnight oats because they go in the fridge overnight. Yeah. God, that's really something, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay, you got more stuff to do. I'll clean this up. You do your other stuff. Okay. Okay. Mom's going to finish cleaning up. Stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to try them for the first time in the morning. And I'm going to add that on so you guys can see if I like them or not. They sound good, don't they? I hope I like them. But next... It's time for a jetpack question. Oh, but first, I want to point out, I just got a Mickey Mouse clock from one of my friends. She knows I love Disney, and as soon as she saw that, she had to order it. Before I ask this, Chat back question, I just want to say hey to all my new subscribers out there. Thanks for being here. And I can't wait to get to know you guys. What chat pack questions are is they're designed to wake up our brains and make us think creatively and spontaneously. I want you to write your Write your response in the comments below. You don't think about it very much. Do a snap to it kind of answer. And I'll be right back with my answer. And the question is, if you could be any type of professional artist, what would your medium be? And what would you theme it after? And I'll be right back with my answer. Like Natalie said, don't think much. Just snap to it and write your answer. Clear the fog. Okay guys, I'm back. And my answer is, I am, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm actually, I'm actually a professional artist myself. I've actually uh, sold some paintings. I guess that makes me a professional pro professional artist. And I'm going to ask my lovely mom here if she'll put some 
examples of my art on the screen so you guys can see them. So mom, would you pop up some of my... When I'm editing, I'll put up some of your paintings. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Perfect. Okay. Now that we've established that I'm already kind of a professional artist, I would theme my artwork um, around Disney and uh, Disney characters because I love Disney so much and Disney is such a big part of my life and I just love it. My, my, my dream was to be a professional Disney artist. I can't wait to see what you guys all put for your answer. And I'm going to go read the comments as soon as we're done here. So I'll see you guys next week. But please stay tuned until the end of the video to see if I like those overnight oats. Good morning everybody. I'm back as promised. I'm ready to try my first over overnight oats. I just grabbed one out of the refrigerator. I think I got the spiced pear. It looks kind of gross but it smells good so I'm, I'm kind of excited but kind of nervous to try it so here we go it seems like these overnight oats are going to be a hit so it was actually really good so what, what a great idea mom had.